Can you think of a word that has the long vowel sound O? In this lesson, you will learn how to decode words that have a long O sound at the end of a syllable by remembering that open vowels make the long vowel sound. Let's review a few things. Vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Consonants are the remaining letters of the alphabet. Every syllable has one vowel sound and the number of vowel sounds equals the number of syllables found in a word. So one vowel words always have one syllable. Long vowel sounds say their alphabet name, like A is in baby, E is in heat, I is in smile, O is in rose, and U is in music. In short vowel sounds, the A says A as in apple, the E says E as in egg, the I says I as in chicken, the O says A ah, as in octopus, and the U says A uh, as in umbrella. Now in a closed syllable, a vowel is followed by a consonant and makes a short sound. So if we look at this example, we have that vowel A followed by the consonant T, so it's going to make the short sound, cat. However, in an open syllable, a vowel isn't followed by anything and makes a long vowel sound. So remember, we're talking about syllables, not the word. So here we've got the long vowel sound A, the syllables are pay per, paper. Now a common mistake is that some people want to always pronounce vowels with short sounds when there's any sort of consonant after the vowel without taking into consideration the syllables. So this word will be pronounced bilateral rather than bilateral and dinosaur rather than dinosaur. Let's look at the sound O and figure out which letters can make it. O-W as in window, O as in ocean, and O-E as in toe. Let's look at this example. First, let's find the vowels, and let's see where we're going to split up the vowel, if we, or split up the word. If we split it up here, we'd have a closed syllable, making this say zero. That's kind of difficult to say. Let's try moving the syllable break here. We've got two open syllables, zero. So do we have open syllables? We have um, a vowel sound at the end of the word or syllable? Yes, we do. So what we did is we noticed that the word had one vowel sound at the end of the word or syllable. Then we remembered that open vowels make the long vowel sound, and we blended the sounds together and read the word. Let's look at another example. Here we've got three different vowels. If we try breaking it up after those vowels, we've got open syllables, long vowel sounds, tomato. That works. Yep, they're all open syllables. Tomato. Here, let's find the vowels. Okay. If we try breaking it apart there, we could have yellow. If we tried right after the E, it'd be yellow, which wouldn't make sense. So yes, there's an open syllable with that O-W at the end of the word. Okay, let's find these vowels. This O-E makes a sound together O. Let's see if we split it right after that A. It'd be A-lo. No. Let's try it with a short vowel sound. Allo. Yep, that word makes sense. There's still an open vowel sound with that O-E. Here's a few more examples. If we broke this up right here after those vowels, we'd have open sounds which would say no bo -d. That doesn't work. Let's try moving it here. No body. Nobody. The O-W leaves us an open vowel sound O. Show. And here we can split it right over here. Overt. Overt. So what we did is we noticed that the word had one vowel sound at the end of the word or syllable. Then we remembered that open vowels make the long vowel sound. And we blended the sounds together to read the word. In this lesson, you've learned how to decode words that have a long O sound at the end of a syllable by remembering that open vowels make the long vowel sound.